What's going on, Judd here, and I wanna provide you with two tips on how you can close your asphalt maintenance season strong with your business. Whether you're a seasoned vet in the business or whether it's your very first year, hopefully this tip helps you close some deals as you're rolling into October, November, and December, finishing Q4 with a power punch of success. Here are the two tips. First tip, you wanna make sure that any of the proposals, the bids, the quotes that you have out right now, that you're doing your very best to turn them into a closed one deal and or understanding if it's gonna be delayed for spring for a further follow-up. But please do note that those bids and those quotes and those proposals should be time sensitive that you have out with your customers and you should let them know about that because the facts are inflation is happening around us right now, material costs are going up, equipment costs are going up, and what that means is that your margins are going to slim if you honor the quotes that are currently out. So set a deadline, that's tip number one. Tip number two is you might have those proposals, quotes, and bids out, you want to close those deals based upon the customer's true problems that they have and over deliver on value. So what's happening? Fall's approaching. Winter is coming. Water's going to get into cracks. It's going to freeze and expand throughout the freeze and thaw periods, and it's going to cause further damage to the pavement assets. And it's also going to create an unsafe environment on the parking lots and or driveways for your customers. So what you should tell them is this. You know, we might have quoted you for the surface preparation, the crack repair, the pothole repair, the seal coating, the line striping, but maybe you don't want to move forward with that just right now. It's a lot to chew on right at this time, we understand. But cold is coming. Let's take care of the cracks. Let's take care of the potholes to make sure that your pavement assets are protected and maintained before the snow and ice flies. You want to make sure that it's a safe environment where puddles are not forming and freezing in potholes and becoming an ice rink where a lady comes along or a man comes along, slips and breaks their tailbone, and now you have a lawsuit on your case. You want to start with the crack repair, pothole repair. Let's at least get started with that. And in your proposal, you say, we will provide seal coating services and line striping in the spring, and you sign them on for a new opportunity to quote. You may not quote that exact price right now because of the inflation taking place and product costs material costs rising all the time as we are progressing here. So you wanna make sure that you open the doorway so that in spring, when the weather becomes great, you can go back to your customer and say, congratulations, Joe, you've repaired the cracks before the winter flu, you did a great job protecting your pavement assets, your potholes repaired, no accidents, and prevented further deterioration. Now it's time to work on the curb appeal and making sure that that pavement parking lot is protected from the sun and it's seal coated with a commercial grade sealer open the door for opportunity. Hope you enjoyed these two tips. It is fall time, it is playoff season. Let's get out there, let's get our proposals and bids closed and let's roll into 2022 with a power punch.